Welcome to these YouTube videos that I've prepared. They're covering two different topics. First of all, finite element analysis, and secondly, composites modeling. They are uh, treated as separate topics, but you will find some overlap, particularly on the composites modeling, where finite elements is an important part of the analysis techniques that I, that I used. These are really um, topics that I've worked in for many years and I've been teaching for roughly the last 20 years or so. During the last five or six years, I've prepared these books on finite elements and composites modeling. First of all, the finite element theory um, and its application with open source codes. This, this book is in two parts. The first part covers what I regard as important theory things like an introduction, the, um, the stiffness matrices, assembly, nonlinear methods, linear methods, dynamic analysis, explicit methods, and so on. And then in the second part, I use some open source finite element codes, mainly FreeCAD and Calculix, where there's a total of 14 tutorials and I've tried to link these tutorials to the, the to the theory in the first part. A similar structure is followed with the uh, engineering composites books. They're in two parts in separate books in this case. The first part covers fundamentals like micromechanics, macromechanics, laminate analysis, and then some chapters on finite element analysis of composites, and finally some some dedicated chapters on draping infusion, impact and crash. And then in the part two book, I've got a, a total of 12 tutorials, which um, basically allow students to um, relate analysis to the to the theory in the part one book. Again, finite element software is used, draping infusion software is used. Um, and in all of this, I've, I've tended to adopt open source codes. They may not be as powerful as, as some of the commercial products, but for, for teaching purposes, they are, I find, very, very good. These books are published, uh, are self-publishing on Amazon. There are uh, hard copy, soft, soft cover books and uh, e-books. I should mention here that the e-book is a, um, it's a, it's a a Kindle, it's a PDF version that is read with a Kindle app that you download to the PC. Perhaps before I start, I should mention a few things about myself. Originally, I did a bachelor's degree in civil engineering at um, the University of Surrey in the UK. As a part of that course, I had to spend one year, I spent one year in uh, Africa on road construction. I then moved on and did uh, research work doctorate in composite materials and finite element analysis. So that's kind of where I got my interest in these topics. This was followed by uh, a couple of years teaching engineering at the University of Malawi in Africa. Then I returned to, the, uh, to Europe and went to ESI GmbH in Frankfurt, where I was very much involved in the early days of car crash simulation and helping engineers to get started with the PAM crash code, which was one of the first codes for, for such simulation. Then I moved on, did several projects, uh, ran several European projects and industrial projects, largely on composites. After about 16 years, I went to Cranfield University, took up a professorship there, working on composites and analysis. And since about 2008, I've been at the Institute for Aircraft Design at the University of Stuttgart, also doing composites and analysis, finite element analysis, teaching, and so on. Since earlier this year, I've just retired, and hopefully I'll have time to, to work on these YouTube tutorials. Just to mention a little bit about these these books. I'm going to do one video on each chapter of the book. So first of all, for the finite element book, 
Um, I'll be covering finite element analysis, some basics and introduction. Video two will cover chapter two, and this is dedicated to stiffness matrices and integration. I then move on to a video on nonlinear dynamic and eigenvalue analysis for buckling and frequency type problems. Video four will be on loads, boundary conditions and contact. Then video five is heat transfer and related field problems. So this is um, typical flow type problems. Then I have a, a video dedicated to material constitutive laws. Obviously there's a lot that could be covered here, but I've, I've focused mainly on elasticity for isotropic and orthotropic materials, plasticity and hyperelasticity, giving hopefully an introduction to this topic. Video seven will be focused on the tutorials and, and the software codes and also helping to give a, an introduction to aspects of going about modeling structures. And then on, after this, I'll be going into the tutorials themselves. First of all, I use, as I mentioned, FreeCAD and Calculix for most of the implicit finite element analysis. There are some other open source codes available, but I do find these very effective and uh, I think a good choice for this sort of work. I use some other codes for explicit analysis. We'll go into the buckling and frequency analysis, nonlinear non and transient dynamic analysis, some thermal analysis problems. And then finally, I wrap up with open foam just to give to give you some idea of what's possible with computational fluid dynamics. And this uses open foam within, integrated within the FreeCAD software. For the videos I shall be doing on uh, composites modeling, again, it will be one video per chapter. First of all, a general introduction to composite materials and their analysis micromechanics, mesomechanics, and then moving on to ply mechanics and laminate analysis. Videos four and five will be going through basics of some finite element methods and some more advanced finite element methods with a bit of a focus on composites modeling. And then finally, videos six through nine tackle specific topics, for example, draping and forming, composites infusion, ply and laminate failure, and then impact and crash. Then moving on to the tutorials, um, the first two I use again, FreeCAD and Calculex to show what's possible for composites modeling these, in these codes. But Calculex, it has to be said, is a bit, a bit limited for composites analysis. So I then move on and use LS Prepost and LS Dyna. I should say LS Prepost is an open source code that you can download and use. But LS Dyna is commercial. It does require a license. So I've tackled this problem by doing the analysis and providing results files so you can download these and again look at the results with LS Prepost. Alternative, you could get an education license for LS Dyna. Then finally, I use some open source codes for laminate analysis, textiles, engineering, draping, and infusion analysis. So that's a quick overview. I hope you'll find these videos useful. They are intended to support the book, but the intention I hope is that um, you, you will find each of the videos self-contained. Uh, you won't have to buy the book. It will be beneficial if you do, but um, uh, you should be able to gain uh, an insight to what's going on by just looking at the videos themselves.